Have you ever used this in a cocktail? This is a fig tree and these are fig leaves. Today I'll show you how you can make a delicious creamy soda and use that for a highball that's perfect for the end of the summer. For those of you that make it to the end, I have a book recommendation to learn all about sodas. But now, it's cocktail time. Let's start by saying that yes, fig leaves are edible. They have a mild, slightly sweet flavor with subtle notes of vanilla and coconut. They are commonly used as a wrap for cooking meat, fish or rice dishes. But they can also be stuffed, baked, boiled, grilled, steamed, used for tea or made into syrup for cocktails. I use them to make a fig flavored cordial with lactic acid and a milk washed this cordial with milk oolong tea to give it a nice creamy texture and taste. This milk washed cordial can then be carbonated to turn it into a wonderful fig cream soda, which will then be used for highball cocktail. I tried many different versions of the fig highball, first with pisco, then scotch serving as the base spirits. They were great, but our fig soda was overpowered, which wasn't my goal. Even cognac, which is a great pairing with fig, wasn't working as well as I hoped. So I tried the combination of Irish whiskey and dry vermouth. The vermouth elevated the soda's notes, adding some herbal qualities, while the Irish whiskey enhanced it with fruity and mature flavors. Saline solution is here just to make sure everyone gets along nicely. I'll go through everything step by step, including two different ways to make our fig highball cocktail. But first, let's make the milk washed fig cordial. We'll first make our fig cordial base, for which we'll of course need fig leaves, but also the combination of water, sugar and acid. Here I'm using lactic acid, which has a more subtle acidity than citric acid, so it doesn't dominate the flavor profile, but still adds some complexity to the cordial. You'll find it in fermented dairy products and lacto-fermented vegetables and fruits. For a little spice, we'll add some cardamom. We'll need 42 grams of fig leaves, with stems removed. Like we did for the lime and mint cordial, we'll first blanch the leaves. To do that, add them in boiling water for 20 seconds, then quickly move them into an ice bath for 1 minute. Blanching will prevent our soda from having a chlorophyll taste or oxidizing too quickly. This step is especially important because we are blending the leaves, so add them into a blender, together with 810 grams of water, 195 grams of sugar, 21 grams of lactic acid, and 5 cardamom seeds. Crush them first, so we get all the flavors, and also help out the blender. Blend everything for at least half a minute. Then let it sit while you move on to the next step, which is our milk tea. For that, you'll need fresh full fat milk, water, and Jing Xuan tea, which is also known as milk oolong, because it has a light, creamy and flowery taste, it's sometimes compared to milk. We'll just highlight that even more by steeping it in milk. To a pot, add 450 ml of milk, to which we'll also add 150 ml of water. Place the saucepan on medium heat and bring to just below the simmer. Then add 21 grams of milk oolong tea. Cover and let's steep for 2 minutes for the beautiful vanilla, caramel and creamy notes to develop. Then strain the milk into a larger container and pour our blended cordial into the milk. The acidity will cause the milk to curdle and we'll be able to strain out the curds. We'll do this after 30 minutes through a large cone-shaped kitchen strainer lined with a cloth filter. As always, the initial liquid coming through won't be completely clear. That happens once the curds form an additional filter, and at that point you can simply refilter the first part to get the best result. That additional filter also means this whole process will take some time. Once I have around 10 ounces or 300 ml of our clarified milk washed fig cordial, I'll use that to make the cream soda, because liquids at lower temperatures absorb more gas. I'm using a cream whipper and a CO2 cartridge. Add the cordial, and since I'm using a small 500 ml siphon, one charger is enough. Just shake it a few times and place it in the fridge, or an ice bath, for about 10 minutes. To make sure it doesn't foam up when pouring, I'm not using the spout, but first carefully releasing all the gas before opening and pouring it out like this. Before carbonation, the cordial might seem a bit too sweet but the acidity increases with carbonation, so the balance here is great. The flavors of fig and milk oolong tea are an amazing pairing, with hints of vanilla and caramel and a wonderful creamy soda sensation. I already mentioned whiskey and vermouth, but this would also be great with gin or vodka, or even in non-alcoholic cocktails. If you'll be craving something with figs after watching this, but don't have a big fig tree anywhere near you, this might be the best alternative. Libra Co's caramelized fig syrup is made from two different fig varieties, and it has a deep concentrated fig flavor with subtle spice. It's best when paired with barrel-aged spirits, like whiskey and rum, but feel free to experiment or just make a soda with it. Once we have all the ingredients, we can make the fig ball. Let's start with a single serve, since we already made the soda. Here we'll build it in a chilled highball glass over ice. 
started with 1 ounce or 30 ml of Irish whiskey. I'm using Green Spot, which has a lovely orchard fruit notes to it. Follow that with 3 quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half ml of dry vermouth. Note the Dante Purgatorio is made with 27 botanicals and brings a nice herbal undertone. Two drops of saline solution will highlight all the flavors, just like salt does with food. Top up with 3.5 ounces or just over 100 ml of our thick cream soda. Mix the ingredients with a bar spoon and garnish with a small thick leaf coin. Take your time and watch your fingers. But if you have company, I can tell you this will be really popular, so I'll show you a way to make several highballs at once while also carbonating the whole cocktail. With this easy twist and sparkle, which easily carbonates water, soft drinks and cocktails in seconds. If you remember our Italico Spritz episode, when we also made soda water with bitters, you'll know that not every carbonator is suitable for fizzing up anything other than water. Not with this thing, so let's fill it up. To do that, we'll use a strained tea milk washed fig cordial that has clarified in the meantime. If you tried this in any other cocktails, let me know in the comments. Other ingredients are the same as before, I'm starting with 480 ml of our thick leaf ingredient. Next, 140 ml of Green Spot Irish Whiskey. Follow that with 100 ml of dry vermouth. And lastly, 10 drops of 20% saline solution. That's right to the line on the twist and sparkle, indicating the limit for carbonating anything other than water. Charge it with a CO2 cartridge and let the twist and sparkle carbonate the liquid. Once it's done, remove the carbonation cap and replace it with a regular cap. Now all that's left to do is pour the cocktail over a clear ice spear into a highball glass and give it the same garnish as before. Equally beautiful, supremely carbonated. Cheers! The thick highball is nicely balanced with whiskey and vermouth providing excellent support to our thick cream soda. If you would like the thick leaf flavor to be more dominant, we would need to infuse the fig leaves in alcohol. We can show you how to do that if you're interested. Luckily, we have a lot of fig trees in front of our studio. With that, we reached the bottom of the glass. Let me know you made it here by posting the fountain emoji in the comments. That's because today I have a book recommendation that could easily be called the Bible of Soda Fountains. Written by a friend of the channel, Darcy O'Neill, Fix the Pumps tells you everything there is to know about the history and mechanics of soda fountains, shedding light to the fusion of technology, culture and the art of creating refreshing drinks. Full of historical anecdotes and interesting recipes, Fix the Pumps is invaluable to anyone who enjoys creative drinks and recipes. You can also hear from Darcy himself in his color-changing cocktails episode, where he drops some chemistry knowledge. I'll see you soon, friends of cocktails.